Hello everybody! This video will be about this Squire. It's a quite unusual guitar, because it has a long neck with a 30-inch scale length. This is 6-string bass, plus it's baritone guitar. This guitar came from 60s, but it's still relevant today. You can see only its neck in my hands, but don't worry, in the next frame it will be ok. I will review it, you can listen some sound examples, and I'll tell you why why it's disassembled now. Let's roll! Let's start from its history. Fender made those guitars in the 60s, and the most famous users of this guitar was iconic band of the whole human history, the Beatles. You can see some photos of George Harrison and John Lennon with a bass 6th in their hands. I suppose uh, they used it as a bass, of course, and for some accompaniment needs. In general, it's a bit strange guitar with three single coils that can be switched through the old-fashioned big toggle switch. This has three independent toggles, and every one of them launched the rockets to the Soviet Russia. <clears throat> Sorry, every of them can turn on or off the pickups in every configuration. The fourth toggle is the cut filter for the bass frequencies. For my taste, it cuts too much. What else is unusual? You have here a vibrato in old school style, and it works not as deep as a regular trem. Now you can find this model on the market as Squire or Fender Ventura series. And the most important thing in this guitar is 30 inch scale length neck. And I tell you, that's a lot. Many metal new school gen guitars have 26 and a half, 27 inch scale length, but this is a small scale bass in your hands and it can be turned real low. This guitar changed the pickups for custom wound stacked single coils from Hato or Hator pickups. You can see here double quantity of the magnet poles, so it has two coils inside. Less hum, more signal and tone, perfect. And now why I am tearing it apart. Not only for the video, this is my new project, and I will paint custom graphics on it with help of Posca markers. Then the guitar will go to the paint booth for the transparent matte lacquer for body and pickguard separately. I have done it before here on this channel with my Harley Benton Fusion guitar. You can watch videos on this channel by the link in the upper right corner. There is more detailed process. You can watch guitar testing, disassembly, paint booth, assembly, some mods in electronics, and one music video with me rocking on this guitar. Check that playlist link if you are interested. And in the form of my personal advert, I'm selling that Harley Benton now. You can find it on reverb.com. And now let's continue. I thought that I can unscrew and remove the pickguard and all the electronics in one piece, like we do it on Strat, because it's very simple and convenient and fast. You can replace all the electronics in minutes just by soldering the output. And that's why we love Struts and that's why Strat became one of the best modding platforms of all time. But that pickguard on this choir is different and you need to solder and unscrew much, much more. But I was ready for it, so let's do it! <laughs> Thank you. 
couple words about owner of this guitar. It's a musician that played with bands from Belarus that were very, very popular in Russia, Belarus and Ukraine. Lapis 98 and Bruto. They based in Ukraine, but later Russia attacked the Ukraine, the war was started and now the owner of this guitar is a session musician. He plays with orchestras and in many bands and projects here in Poland. So this guitar definitely will make some music. And it's cool. The whole concept of this instrument is quite unique, because now we have so many options and uh, guitars. Guitar in general has so many faces and functions, brands and types, and even now it looks strange and unusual. Imagine what was in the 60s. It was like an alien ship of the guitar world. But it's cool that it survived till our days and you can buy some rather cheap instrument and open some new doors in your musical journey. Now we know this guitar and it's time to paint it and the most important part in this process is making a sketch. It was a little difficult for me, because I made it from scratch. Those red pickups are the center of the composition, so I decided to build everything around them. And I imagined some boss fight with monster like in our childhood from 8 or 16-bit games. Some, maybe some robots, some mechanical parts. Also, I wanted to stylize everything like it's made in 8-bit with pixel counters. I wanted to draw double-faced creature that fights with small main character. Also, I wanted to add some visual features from real owner to this character but there was something I didn't like and a couple days later I've decided to decline this cage and make the new one, the new one from scratch. So now, when I'm recording the voiceover for the first part of this video, the guitar is ready. I'm editing the making of video about the ending of this project and you can see it in the second part. So friends, please subscribe to this channel, it's very, very important for me, write me some comments uh, down below, and I got a lot of plans for the new videos. So stay tuned and see you soon, bye bye.